We're in Word 2019, Lesson 7, Inserting Screenshots. All right, for Step 1, uh, we're going to open up the Children's Party Notice Form 2 document from the Resource Files folder. So whenever I'm opening a document, I can actually just scroll down here to the bottom of my screen and find that document and double-click it to open it up. The next step is to create a new blank document. Um, so I'm going to make sure my Word file is active by clicking on it. And then I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to press and hold Control and tap the letter N as in New to open up a new document. And Jasper does not specify how to do that, so I went with the fastest way. The next thing we need to do is click the Insert tab. And then in the illustrations group, we're going to click on screenshot. So this is going to, we're going to practice a few ways of inserting um, different screenshots into our document. When I click on this, it's going to give me a drop down and it's going to show me the current active programs that I have up. And then it also has a screen clipping option. For this first one, I want to click on the children's party notice document. So I'm going to click on that. And it should insert an image into my screen. Now, the last time I tried this, uh, I noticed I had the same problem. So when I inserted, it came in as a black blank square. Um, I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to go back up to insert to my illustrations group. And I'm going to try it one more time. And cross my fingers. There we go. Uh, so if that happens to you, if the first time you do it, it inserts a blank screen or a black square, just delete it. Try it again. You know, it's just one of those technology things. Sometimes you got to try it twice. All right. So we're going to mark that as answered and go to step two. For step two, we're going to create another new blank document. So I'm going to click uh, somewhere in this document, press and hold control and tap the N key to open up a new one. And I'm going to insert the logo file. So when we're inserting pictures into a document, um, you can't double click them from your instruction panel because that just opens them up in a photo viewer. I need to go to insert illustrations group and then to pictures and I need to find these in my Jasper active file. into my name and then they're always going to be in resource files because that's where we find any documents we're using for Jasper Active. Okay and I am looking for just logo so not the Green Souls logo but just the logo document. You can double click that and it is still the Green Souls logo but make sure you're paying attention to which file it wants you to open. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go down to my taskbar down here at the bottom, and I'm going to bring up the children's party notice document. All right, so not the one that has the screenshot of it, but the actual children's party document. And in the illustrations group, so insert tab, illustrations group, I'm going to go back to that screenshot, and I'm going to select screen clipping. So when I click on that, what's going to happen is the entire screen is going to get dim. And I'm going to get this little cursor right here. Um, and this shows me that I have something going on. In this case, it's a screen clipping. So the whole screen dims and I can move my cursor around and decide what part of this screen I want to select to clip and put into my document. So I'm going to drag a rectangle around the Green Souls logo and let go. And that's going to insert it right here into my document. I'm going to put the cursor just to the right. So again, make sure it's right in between the word children's and that image of the logo and hit enter. And that's going to separate that text for me. I'm going to mark that as answered and go to step three. So for step three, um, we're going to remove some background features. So I'm going to select the Green Souls logo. And you're going to see that because it's a picture, 
I'm going to get a hidden tab, right? Pictures are objects. Hidden tabs show up when I'm working with objects. So always watch for those to show up up here on the right hand side. I'm going to click on format. And then it's going to give me a lot of options that all have to do with how I can change this image right here. I'm going to go over to the adjust group and I'm going to click on remove background. So what's going to happen is it's going to take the image I had selected and it's going to um, put this purple on here. And so anything that's purple, I'm going to zoom in, anything that's purple is going to be something that you could remove. Right? Anything that is the actual color of the object or the picture is areas that will stay when I select keep changes. So up here you're going to notice I have some different options. I have mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove, discard all changes, and keep all changes. So I'm going to click on mark areas to keep and I'm going to start drawing. And you're going to see that as I draw, it's going to select certain areas and it's going to bring the original color back. And depending on the photo that you're using, so in this case, it's a logo. But if you do this with any other photo, um, sometimes you can click just in one spot and it will select a whole area. Other times it just takes whatever you click on, like these little dots right here. So you can play around with that and see what that feels like. So I, I have marked everything to keep. I'm going to go to mark areas to remove. And maybe I'm going to try to remove the shadow right here. There we go. There we go. All right. And then once you... Um, have played around with that and have it how you like it, you're going to select keep all changes and that's going to remove whatever you had identified you wanted to remove. Now if you're doing this um, and you accidentally remove something you don't like, the undo button or control Z is a really easy way to go back. And that's all we need to do for this one. So I'm going to mark as answered and submit.